Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute, like I say almost every video, but I have been wanting to make this video. I just really have not had the time. Um, I've been so busy, but I thought might as well make it at work real quick. Um, I'm sitting in one of our Audi SQ5s, one of my favorite cars that we have right now. Um, but I wanted to just talk to you guys about my first month as a car saleswoman my first month in the car sales world and kind of share with you guys um, my real, true, honest thoughts about it and how I'm liking it so far. Um, so for those of you who don't know, I recently started a new career in car sales and I'm really, really liking it so far. I feel like it's a, I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be right now. I'm not sure you know, what my future holds or how long I'll be doing this, but I really like it and I feel like I'm, um, I finally feel like I'm doing something that I was meant to be doing. So that's a really good feeling. Um, let's see if I can put you guys somewhere where it's not gonna be moving around a lot. We'll try this. Okay, so I wrote some things down um, on like, I was just kind of thinking about my thoughts on, you know, how it's been going so far and what I'm liking about it and maybe what I'm not liking about it. Um, but first of all, what am I, I guess, um, favorite parts about, and just a little disclaimer, um, I know every car dealership and sales team is very different and this is, you know, my first experience at my first dealership. So, you know, other people might not agree with me on my thoughts or maybe their experience was completely different and that's totally understandable. So this is just based on my experience so far. But one of my favorite things um, is that we have like, almost every day we have a morning meeting and I like it because I work with a lot of, you know, inspirational people and everyone has their story and everyone has started some, started somewhere and everyone has completely different backgrounds. So it's been really interesting to just be around a lot of like, like-minded individuals who come from, you know, all different lives and experiences and everything. And so our morning meetings um, range, they could be us, you know, role playing in the morning. So what I mean by that, if you're not familiar um, in the car sales world, role playing would be like, you know, getting a partner and walking through the steps of, you know, how you would greet a customer on the lot, how you would, um, you know, demo a vehicle, show a vehicle, vehicle to a customer. And yeah, um, so we're constantly practicing because we wanna be able to practice on each other and then be able to provide our customers with the best experience. So also at our morning meetings, it could be like a motivational video. It could just be a quick motivational speech from our boss. You know, it could um, be more educational stuff, um, an educational video, it just depends. But I really like it because I feel like it sets the tone for our day and you know, everyone's there to, you know, not only feed their families and help themselves, but we're really here to help other people because, you know, we're not trying to create more problems for anybody. We're really trying to solve problems. Yeah, so based off of our little morning meeting that I actually really enjoy and I'm grateful for, I feel like it sets our tone for our day. And on top of that, I feel like genuinely, all of the people I work with have a lot to offer. And, you know, certain people might gravitate towards you know, certain salespeople, um, different customers will gravitate towards certain salespeople, salespeople will gravitate towards certain customers. And I just feel like I work with people that are all genuine and who they are. And, you know, they're not trying to, there's just so many bad reputations and like, um, there's just like, I feel like a salesperson or a car salesperson just has a bad rep in general. And I don't, find that to be true with us. I really feel like we go the extra mile for our customers and we work on building those relationships and making sure that everybody we work with, you know, we're touching their lives. We're not just adding them to our number of sales for the month. Um, so yeah, I feel like everyone I work with is really genuine and everyone is willing to help and nobody judges you if you fail, you know, as long as you're being true to you and you're doing your best and you know, you're not just like blatantly out here trying to rip people off or lie or anything like that. Um, everyone is just willing to help and build each other up. And I really appreciate that. So, um, again, this could be different if you've had a bad experience working as a salesperson and maybe you had a team that 
wasn't like that unfortunately um maybe you need to venture out and try to find a different team but let's see what else i have on my list oh okay so something that's not that great and this is probably very different sorry my phone is so shaky but this is what we're working with today i'm literally at work and i had to drive to our business office i could have walked there but i took a car so that i could film this too um but yeah i just have my phone with me and there's not a great place to set it so we're working with this but another thing that's not that great that you might not think about when you step into the car sales world um is weather conditions so thankfully i don't have to work out in the rain too much because i live here in hawaii so uh, it's like beautiful weather most days um but that is something to consider because i know a lot of other places in the country in the world um it rains a lot or it gets really cold and um that can be hard to sell cars out in the rain and stuff but even though we're out here in beautiful conditions you know the sun is just beaming on us all day long and you know thankfully we have like an ac sales office so we can kind of go back and forth but some days you're out there in the sun pretty much all day long and you got i swear the first few days i was at work i under underestimated how much i'd be in the sun and i got so sunburnt and i'm still trying to adjust to like my new working weather conditions and just making sure that I'm wearing like a tinted moisturizer with sunscreen. I'm, you know, constantly applying sunscreen if I'm out in the sun for a while. Um, yeah, wearing sunglasses, like trying to protect yourself as best as you can. So that is something that's like a little bit of a downfall working in um, car sales world. Let's see here. What else did I write down? Yeah, just touching on like what I said earlier, the role playing and stuff that we do. And um, we follow like Grant Cardone's training for the most part. And I just like that we're constantly learning. We're constantly being stimulated. You know, nobody wants to be stagnant in this business. Everybody wants to just level up and do good, do, do better than everyone. You know, our team wants to do better than everyone else in Hawaii. You know, we want to we want to be the best of the best. And so when you feel that way, you just are constantly learning and you're constantly growing and you're constantly, you know, role playing with each other and doing the training and trying to get more organized and just trying to find more ways to just better yourself. And I just, it's really important to be around that energy because it's hard to feel like you can be successful or to feel like you can do good when you're around people that are, you know, negative or um, not wanting to grow or be there. So it feels good to be around people that want to be there. Um, of course, there's times where, you know, there's people around you that don't want to be there or they're having a bad month or whatever it is. And that also takes an extra level of strength and determination and believing in yourself and working hard to not fall into that trap and, you know, join them in that headspace and mentality. But let's see what else. So another thing I read about is there's a lot of psychology in this game and we're not trying to trick anybody, but you know, people have um, their reactionary responses. So, you know, um, it's just, it ranges so much. So, you know, when it comes to price or when it comes to test driving or, you know, I'm just looking, I just, this is my first stop or whatever it is. Like there's a lot of psychology that you're learning because people say these things just because, you know, they're scared or they, they don't want to be like, effed over I guess I don't know how else to put it they they don't really trust they might not really trust the process or you know what you can do for them and so that's why it's so important to start understanding why people act the way that they act and um start building real relationships with these people because if you can't make a friend or you know see what their real problem is and help help them try to solve that and come up with a solution for them then you're not going to get very far in the process and that's something I'm still learning of course um but i do think it's very interesting like learning about just psychology of all this as well so i do like that part it's challenging and it's not always fun but i do like it um okay what else do i have yeah like i said as well um solving problems we're out here trying to solve problems and you know just seeing a lot of people are on the wrong product you know or the wrong vehicle in my case Okay, sorry, back to what I was saying. So a lot of people in this in the sales world in general, but in my case, cars, they're on the wrong product, so they're on the wrong vehicle. They come in here and let's say they like Honda and they want a CRV. They're like, I want a small SUV, like I just love Hondas, I just want a CRV. 
or you know maybe they love Toyota and they just want a Rav4. But when you start asking them questions like what do you, what is it that you like about this vehicle? You know what vehicle where are you driving now? Like what do you like? What do you not like about this vehicle? You know what is it not doing for you? Maybe you know they have a sedan but they want something a little higher up and you know they just like a certain brand or you know maybe they have a growing family or whatever it is um that's when you start you know fact finding asking them questions and seeing what their problem is so that you can help solve it and i think grant cardone says that 50 percent of the people maybe i'm wrong on that number but i'm pretty sure he said 50 percent of people are on the wrong product so it it the pressure falls on you for making sure that you're solving their problem and finding the right product for them because you don't want to sell them something that doesn't solve their problems. So if someone came to me and said, I want a RAV4, you know, I like the way they look. I, I love Toyota. I want an SUV, but they told me that, you know, they have three kids or they're expecting their third kid, or, you know, maybe they have a hobby that requires like a little more trunk space than a, um, than that vehicle then I would start thinking like, what do we have that would solve your problem? Because what you're telling me you want doesn't really seem like it's going to solve your problem. It sounds like it's gonna be a tight squeeze for your kids. It sounds like it's not gonna fit all the stuff that you like to carry in your vehicle. So uh, just solving problems and seeing customers leave happy, you know, is honestly my favorite part of all this. Just making sure the customer is leaving happy because I don't want anyone to drive off with regret. I don't want anyone to drive off saying they hate what they got the next day. Like I want them to be able to trust me and then, you know, start recommending me and yeah, put their faith in me and um, tell all their friends and family and have someone trustworthy that they can go to when they need a new vehicle. So I really like that part. And then, okay, sorry, I cut you guys off again, but um, another, I think this is the last one that I wrote down, but another thing that I really like about this business is both the independence and you get like a really good balance of working independently and working as a team. I like that, you know, we have goals every month, um, for our team and for ourselves. And I like that we can be independent and kind of do our own thing and be trusted in the process. We don't really have someone breathing down our neck unless we're not doing our job. And so I do like the independence it has. I like that we get to do different things. You know, we get to ride in cool cars. We get to um, talk to different people. You know, we get to be inside, outside. Like there's just a lot more in this lifestyle and this business that you don't really think about that you'd be doing. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's a lot of paperwork. It's a lot of being inside, making phone calls, a lot of being outside and talking to people, showing people stuff. Um, you know, we're constantly picking up vehicles that get transported over here bringing them over you know getting them registered we're going to the dmv for you guys like there's a lot of stuff people don't think about in this industry but i do like the balance and i do like that i'm not just you know sitting at a desk in one spot all day long um so yeah i don't know i hope this isn't too long i'm not sure how long it is i tried to kind of just bust this out but i wanted to give you guys my overall feedback and just how i'm feeling about working in the car sales world you know it's really hard work like i get home and i'm so tired and my brain is just exhausted like I've just done most days I feel like I've just maximized my brain capacity and I just need to relax and like whoa unwind hardcore but um I really like it I like being busy I like having goals I've always been a goal-oriented person I I don't have any experience in sales so I think that if you feel like you're a goal-oriented person and you feel like you can really hustle and you want to help people and do good in this world and you know change the bad reputation of car sales people um then i think that you should give this a shot and if you know for me thankfully i had kind of a connection i was able to get a job here after obviously i went through interview and everything like that um but i think that if you have you know those kind of characteristics and you want to give it a shot i think you should as long as you're able to find you know a dealership that feels like the right fit for you and that might take a couple times i'm not really sure um but yeah so those are my thoughts i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know down below if you have any other questions or you you know want to learn more or have like a part two of this maybe six months down the road or three months down the road i'm actually almost at i think my two month mark but yep anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like this video and subscribe um 
and I hope you guys have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. And sorry I've been looking at my screen the whole time instead of the camera, but it's too late now. All right, bye guys.